911. What is the location of your emergency? Yeah, there's a disabled vehicle taking up two lanes. My fiance shot himself in the head. Um, I don't know. We just heard they're calling. I hope he's a call 911. Yeah, someone's shoot. Someone, someone around here shooting. Driving like a fool, too. But he's shooting like crazy down here. 90% of our 911 calls are answered in 10 seconds or less. So this is a map of, of Hamlet County. We're responsible for dispatching almost this entire area. Excluding the city of Cincinnati and Norwood, all surrounding communities, 47 of them, rely on Hamilton County's 911 center to handle their emergencies. If I'm taking 22,000 calls a month um, that are just 911 calls, and we're answering those calls 10 seconds or less 90% of the time, um, that means we're, we're, you know, we're doing a pretty good job with the volume that we have, and, um, and I'm, I'm quite proud of that. A reckless operator, white panel ban. In the early years, most dispatchers were men, like Tim Harris. But the workforce has changed. Now more than 50% are female, and they include Tim's wife, Lori Harris. Listen carefully, I'll tell you what to do. She's worked here 22 years. Helping people is the best thing. I live in Hamilton County. This is my community. And what is your emergency? So when I take my calls, it's if I'm talking to one of my family members. It's my community. These are the people that I, I'm there for. Lori was there for a family who lives here in Coleraine when they needed help. 911, what is the location of your emergency? And it was one that I pulled my headset out because it was loud from the screaming. How old is she? She's almost one. She's one year old. Did you find her in the tub? Yes. Yeah. Is she breathing? No, she's not breathing right okay, now. Okay, do you know do you know CPR? No. Okay, I've got the life squad dispatch. Listen to me. I need for you to put the heel of the hand in the center of the chest. You're going to press down firmly from one third to a half inches in depth. You're going to press down hard and fast. And I'll count with you. We need to do it at least 30 times. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. She's trying to cry now. She's trying to cry. Okay, then don't push on her chest. Yes, you go. Is that her? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, just let her cry. Turn her over on her side. Let the water come out. And she's still crying? Yeah, crying's a good thing. Listen to me. The medics are there. I need for you to open the door for me, okay? I'm going to hang up with you. They're going to take care of your child, okay? Okay, thank All you right, very sir. much. All right, bye-bye. After that, I realized I still had the whole group of Springdale Citizens on Patrol Academy here and a whole group of people standing around me, and it was like, whew, <laughs> okay, you know, and then it's, I still have eight hours of this. The mental health of our employees, you know, I really don't have uh, an adequate space for someone to go and just kind of decompress for just a little bit, whether that involves just a, a quiet, dark room, um, or, or, you know, some place that's comfortable with a, with a couch or recliner. You know, we don't have that. The center's basement is full of equipment. This is all the technology, believe it or not, that runs everything that you see upstairs. Knapp says they've outgrown this 1970s building, where the break room doubles as the roll call room, and the conference room doubles as the training room. The 800 system is a trunk radio. All county 911 operators are cross-trained and can handle calls for both police and fire emergencies. I know what's required on each radio. There's no delay. Um, I know what that ra police radio operator needs. I know what EMS needs, and I know what fire needs. I like being cross-trained and being able to do all jobs in there. I think it makes me a better dispatcher. Westbound or eastbound? Smart 911 technology has been in place here for more than a year. It shows dispatchers detailed address and contact information when people call from a cell phone. With Smart 911, residents can preload their information into this system and we can find out um, uh, emergency contacts, we can find out their medical history, we can find out um, locations where they're supposed to be, what type of vehicle they drive, um, even if they have pets within the, within the residence. There's an unbelievable amount of information. And so my message to the residents is, you need to help us help you by filling out a Smart 911 profile. Get the most out of your Hamilton County 911 Center by signing up yourself and your teenagers at smart911.com or alerthc.org.